So I want to do a quick little review on this little Urbini Swift Light. I got it at Walmart and they have it on clearance right now for $52 and I think it was original price was about $70. I only got the stroller. They do have a duo set but obviously my my baby's a little too old for the, the little uh, car seat. So I got this stroller because my daughter is less than two but she's already 33 pounds and the little Minnie Mouse sun umbrella that I got was, wasn't cutting it anymore. It was already starting to bend so I got this stroller which holds up to 50 pounds and I just wanted to say that I was pleasantly surprised with this. I saw it about a year ago and I didn't purchase it just because I didn't think I was going to need anything beyond 35 pounds but apparently I do and I just kind of wanted to do a review because I know a lot of people have toddlers now and I think this was very impressive. It, it actually handles and maneuvers almost like a bigger stroller and the weight limit allows it to hold toddlers and not only that but the seat is actually pretty deep so even though my baby's chubby she actually fits comfortably and there's plenty of leg room so even though she's still pretty short she can there's still room to grow in it and this little thing folds down if your child doesn't have long legs and you can pop it up if your child wants to dangle their legs over the edge and it has a five point harness and it actually comes with little um, covers so the little strap isn't rubbing and you can also I don't know if you can see it but you can actually move there's several different heights here just so when your kid gets bigger and then it has this extra little sunshade that pops down and you can just push it back when you're not in use and it has these little clips on the side that I liked because if your kid likes to pull on the sunshade it's not going to go anywhere um, it comes with a small little cup holder which holds about a pound uh, it has doesn't have a really big storage in the back but I'm pretty sure you can hook something on to the back here so that you can add more storage it has a little clip here so that you can recline your child not quite there it goes and you can anywhere in between here you can you can move it up or down uh, also it has like a double lock feature here so your your kids not gonna go anywhere and I noticed that what I liked about it was you pop this part up and then there's a second little lever here and you have to actually put probably about 15 pounds of pressure to pop that up and I, I honestly like that but one thing that I noticed was it's probably kind of dangerous if your toddler's around, you might not want to break it down when they're there. This might get some fingers. So I'm going to pop that back down. And it has, has little brakes on the wheels. It maneuvers pretty nicely. You, you can move maneuver it with one hand. I think the one thing is when you actually have weight in there, it takes a little effort for the turns, but not much. Um... Oh, it has this little bar feature, which you can remove. I, I think they sell cup holders separate, but I don't think my kid really needs a cup holder. Uh, uh, oh, one thing that I didn't care for was when you're taking your kid out, if this isn't down, it has a tendency to go up, and then their feet might get stuck on there. But I mean, you can always remove the bar and pull them straight out. Uh, that's not too big of a deal. Um, Besides that, it's pretty. It's a pretty nice stroller. I think I will probably purchase another one uh, if this ever gets uh, worn down. Um, that's about it. Oh, it's the. I don't know if it's, it's this Urbini Swift Light E59, and I got the electric Azul, which is so. Yeah. 
Okay. That's all I want to say. Bye.